What's going on folks? Welcome back. John here. We are busy, busy, busy today. We're just taking a little bit of a, a pit stop. Uh, we're out starting with our, with our silage for the day. This is the first cut silage. Uh, now what you have just seen was us cracking through this first field here. Uh, and we're not going to waste any more time. we got to jump back into the chopper uh, and we're off. So we're going off to the next field now. Which is only a few minutes, about five minute drive away for us. Uh, and you know, so far so good. We flew through that field. Uh, absolutely through, flew through it. Uh, we have got Derek is on the pit in the telly handler. Uh, myself, uh, John, as always, I am on the uh, forager here. Uh, this is not our forager for those of you who have just tuned in. This is the least forager, but it, uh, it does the job that we needed to do. And then we've got Beefy and Annabelle on the uh, 724 and the 930, respectively. Be Annabelle's behind me there. Uh, and off we go. We're gonna head over to the field. There is our 942 with the mowers on looking glorious in the yard still Love that machine uh, Yeah, we're gonna go and switch on over to the other field. We've got two fields pretty much next door to each other Which are fairly big. There's about 70 acres all in for those two uh, And that's a bit of a cart back to the pit, but two fast tractors and trailers on the job We should get through that with uh, very little trouble Okay, over there. Yes, we are. Perfect. And off we go then. This is the first out, and this is the least forager, and it is flying. It's a beautiful machine to be in. Uh, really, really loving it. Uh, oh, bouncing over the road, though. And it's so far with the with the size of the swaps that we've had, it's had no problem just flying through it. Really is crushing everything we put in front of it. So, uh,. Which is good, means we're going to be able to power on. Uh, we have got a few other contracts to do, so be nice. Uh, we're using this kind of like a bit more of a test bed, really, as we always do for our own first cut. Just to see how we get on there. And yeah, so far, I cannot complain. Uh, so we've got these two fields. You can see there is Beefy parked up waiting for us. And it'd be nice to kind of get them in and get these two fields done and dusted. And then we'll be on. But yeah, beautiful ride as well it's a lot i remember the old forages were so much slower going from field to field but nowadays with a 40k boxing you can absolutely horse it through uh, and here we go so i'm just gonna pull into here so i can get myself set up a little better okay then Alright, let's get everything figured out here and then we'll get ourselves up in the way, I reckon. Okay then, so we are good to go there. It's gonna unfold out the front. Looking good. Power away. Let's get rid of this huge big chunk right in front of me here, first of all. Excellent stuff, and up we go then. Alright, so we are off field number two here. Quite big swath still there, and we're coming in about 14 and a half, 15 meters wide. What I'm trying to do is to make sure we've got plenty of sufficient space over there, which it looks like we're doing. I'll try and help out my uh, trailer drivers as much as I can when we're doing this. But yeah, ultimately we are in. I'm going to just uh, creep forward ever so slightly. There we go. That's the ticket. And yeah, as you can see there, we're flying through. A nice and even uh, swath to hit at as well there, with the fellow rake doing a wonderful job. It's quite dry today. It's uh, uh, We've had a good, it was mowed down uh, two days ago now, raked up yeah, uh, earlier this morning. And uh, we go, give him a little bit more room to work with. Perfect stuff. Yeah, raked up so early this morning there, which meant we were a little bit late getting away with it, but we're flying now anyway, and um, yeah, like I say, no no hiccups, no problems, just soaring through it, which is always what we want to see. Uh, as you can see though, it's, we are cruising along here, used to do it around about, usually hitting up around about 12 miles an hour at the moment, uh, which is just incredible to think, really, absolutely gu gunning it through here. Uh, we are really just about at the stretch of what two trailers can handle even when you factor in that these trailers are fairly significant uh, in size uh, Both 50k boxes on both tractors as well, but yeah, it's still something that we're We are just about keeping up with I would say is fair I'm having a little bit of trouble with uh, just 
this first headland here, keeping ourselves away from the trees on the side. But other than that, we're doing alright. See, if we give enough room there. And alright, that goes. Uh, that goes out of No, right then. And there's number two. So yeah, like I say, we are kind of at the stretch of what these two trailers can do. But we'll see how we get on. The, this far field over there is going to be a little, the furthest away to lead. So uh, we'll see how we get cracking on there. But I think we'll, but all we can really do is just keep cracking along with it, really. Hope that we can uh, get this all covered. Um... And we'll see how we do it. I mean, we don't have another trailer anyway, so we're a little bit stretched. I do have the option to call in a neighbor if we need to, but ideally, I'd like to be able to try and get it all done myself here. No, all right, folks, so we're just able to kind of crack on a little bit more here. Uh, a little bit more space to turn on the headlands. This field shouldn't take us too long to do. The acreage that we're getting covered right now is absurd. Uh, really got some great power. Uh, and speed capabilities here. Like I say, the main issue we're going to have and continue to have, I do reckon, is just going to be making sure we can get through. Come on, catch up. There uh, we go. It's going to make sure that we can get through the um, the carton of the sides, actually. That's going to be the biggest problem. So, we'll uh, we'll just stick at it. Oh, that looks like Annabelle's full as well. Alright, and there it goes. Uh, trailer number two. So, what we can do right now is wait for the uh, next trailer to come back here. Uh, like I say, hopefully we'll be able to get this flying through. In the next few hours, we'll get this field done, or next hour even. All kind of hinging on when the trailer arrives, and then we're heading. Oh, we'll just jump out. We're heading over there. Uh, we've got a field of spring barley in the middle, and there's another grass field on the other side. And then we're heading back closer towards where the uh, cattle yard is, actually. And we're going to get that all done as well. Get out of here, bits. Uh, and yeah, we'll be in a much better place. So hopefully, all being well, we'll be able to really make some good progress with this. Uh, and then whatever's left, we'll be looking at, um, we might do a bit of build silage, I'm not sure about that yet, we'll wait and see. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, that's kind of where we stand right now at least, i would be curious to see how we get on. Let me know down below what you're getting on with as well, how your silage is going. Uh, and if you enjoyed that little time lift that we did at the front there, I know a lot of people have been enjoying it and they like to see it. Uh, and just my way of giving you a little bit more of an update as to how we're getting on really and what we're progressing with on the silent squad here and just to see what's uh what that entails the next episode we're probably going to do is a bit of a, a a deep dive into the uh trailer driving and then back on the pit as well there so watch this space for that one uh, for now though we're going to leave it here uh, i'm going to wait for my driver to come back and we'll see how we get cracking on so we shall catch up with you very shortly until next time though have yourself a great day enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll catch you later